we hope that they uh those great educators will say wow this really has impact in the school it's not just a nice thing to do or an after school club this is actually at the heart of great education I'm John, uh, John Rolfe, I'm the school's outreach manager uh, at the British Council. Uh, we're very committed to uh, supporting uh, all of the UK schools, all of the UK teachers in getting involved with international work. So quite a broad uh, remit and they're very much to, I suppose, celebrate uh, the key importance of international education in schools. So what does the British Council actually do and how does it link in with schools? Well, it's quite a broad history, actually. British Council, it started in 1934. It was there very much uh, to um, promote that value exchange. You know, we always believe it's really important to have those very authentic learning experiences. Um, and I suppose now more than ever, it's increasingly important that young people, uh, rather than getting all their information from the internet or Instagram or, you know, whatever, whatever the social media world or whatever's going on for young people. We think it's really important that schools and we celebrate all those wonderful approximately 30,000 schools across the UK. It's so important that uh, schools and educators have the opportunity uh, to exchange best practice. What are you doing, say, for boys and literacy? What are you doing for maybe girls and STEM subjects? So it's very much about supporting a global community of educators. Uh, and I suppose that mission that was there in 1934 uh, is writ large through to today. Uh, we've got lots of resources, lots of programmes for schools, even at the beginning of their journey. Uh, a big offer to our schools uh, across the UK uh, is that we can guarantee you a linked school. Um, so for many schools who are perhaps concerned about safety issues or is the school real wherever, uh, because we work in 110 countries, uh, we've got lots of on-site education managers, lots of ways to uh, support and nurture uh, a very proactive school partnership. So we're very proud particularly of that school partnership work uh, and allied with that, we have lots of resources uh, schools that are maybe looking to celebrate Diwali, uh, looking to celebrate um, a range of festivals. Um, uh, we have an Arabic conference coming up. Uh, obviously, International Education Week provides uh, a essential profile for that. But it's very much providing a very wide and diverse range of resources and support for schools. And they can be as in-depth or as light touch as they wish to be with it. So we have schools maybe um, linking with a Francophone African country to teach their French. We have many schools now that are linking with Mexico to do their Spanish. So it's very much looking at the wider remit. Of, of, of the global community. And what's really interesting, I suppose you've heard it before, Zuzu, but we think it's so true. Um, we have much more in common than those things that perhaps divide us. And it's yes. always amazing that young people are amazed that their linked school overseas actually has the same concerns, has the same issues. Yeah. Um, so we really believe in the authentic engagement for schools. Oh, it sounds amazing, John. I mean, honestly, it, I, when I say it, it, it's something that really I feel quite passionate about. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strip it back now. I am a teacher. I'm in a school. I'm keen about getting a link with another school internationally. How do I go about doing that? What steps do I do? And how can I lean on the British Council to support me in that process? Well, the, we think the best way is obviously just register your school details. If you go onto our British Council schools website, uh, you can register your school details there on the partner finding service. So if you're perhaps interested in a particular area of the world, we can filter that back for you. Um, we have uh, education managers in those 110 countries that can support your search for a school link. So once you've registered your details, you get access to all the resources, the newsletter, uh, you would get um, 
uh, expressions of interest from schools overseas who wanted to link with you and that would be all very much supported as well. Alternatively, you could maybe, if you wanted a very light touch um, ingress into this world, uh, you could go uh, enter on e-twinning. Now e-twinning is basically links across Europe. If we wanted to divide our work into two halves generally, there's the uh, opportunities for Europe and then there's opportunities in the rest of the world. The great thing about schools who are big, perhaps at the beginning of the process, is you can actually go on the uh, eTwinning website and look for schools in Europe and actually download case studies. So if you're looking to see how schools in Spain uh, celebrate Christmas, uh, you could actually go on the website, download a case study, download the school link with that and get a partnership for the school in Spain to send you information. So it's as light touch as you wish. If you were perhaps looking to go into more depth around things perhaps like the sustainable development goals, uh, we have links all over uh, the Middle East, North Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa. So if you're looking to perhaps uh, examine issues perhaps around climate change, uh, you could link say with a school in Bangladesh to see what priorities they attach to issues around uh, climate change and actually exchange lessons. So it's a very broad range and that's why to the new school it can look slightly bewildering because there's, there's so much out there. But what we always say at the beginning is start small. So once you have a good idea of the place, of the country, of the location you want to link, the British Council can support you with that. Alternatively, you can just download some of our resources. Uh, we've got in, uh, um, a cultural pack about India, about China, uh, Poland, uh, Russia. Wow. Um, a whole uh, of Indonesia so they would also be useful as well perhaps if you wanted to just teach a, a lesson about um, Chinese calligraphy say or um, if you have new arrivals in the school uh, from Eastern Europe uh, we could support you with a geography lesson about Poland or uh, learn a few words in another language so it's again as light touch as you wish it to be or indeed as you progress in confidence you can get a school link access funding and basically have that whole school ethos around the value of internationalism and go for our international school award oh wow so so tell me a bit about that the international school award because again that excites me <laughs> Uh, basically, the International School Award is a, a very broad accreditation framework uh, and schools who are looking to develop that whole school ethos because, again, through the research, we find that schools that are outward facing, uh, are international in focus, they're also doing well on their, if we can say Ofsted, but certainly we're aware that schools have a lot of priorities. So schools that are outward fo facing and proactive, they're doing well in attainment, they're doing well in recruitment and retention, they're doing well in their Ofsted. Interestingly, parents, we're getting lots of feedback from parents that um, their young, their, the fact that their children are being taught at a place of great teaching and learning, that really highlights cultural and linguistic heritage, that brings the world in, that supports them as global citizens, is a really great place of teaching and learning. And that's why our International School Award is there to encourage and celebrate schools in that journey. Uh, there's three levels to it. There's the foundation level, and schools just need to do one international activity for that. So we would arguably, every school in the UK, are doing <laughs> some international work. And what's really useful as well, Zuzu, is we have a an online audit and we find that uh, we talk when we talk to schools who, who would say we're very much at the beginning of it are actually doing that they will be doing some language they will be doing some comparative work looking at uh, religions and festivals in other countries and uh, languages across the globe or issues around the impact of um, uh, access to food and water and climate change so when schools see that as a very valuable learning 
part of their learning, they can then develop their international work and go for the intermediate level. And that's three activities that you demonstrate. But at this juncture, we would require you to have an international partner. Right. So, so a big, big thing, a big, big part of our work at the British Council is getting you that linked school. And we find this a lot that schools, um, they're struggling to find uh, a partner school that's um, that shares you know, their commitment to it so we can support you with that. And that brings us through to schools who have got our accredited, and that's why we, what we'll be celebrating on Monday afternoon, uh, the, the schools across the UK who can demonstrate that whole school commitment to international work. They have um, uh, at least seven activities. They've got three of them with their partner school. They can demonstrate their commitment to language. They have an international policy. They have an international coordinator. If you're on their website, uh, they will explicitly celebrate their international work. So that's why we talk about our accredited ISA schools as being our flagship schools, as being our, I suppose, our gold standard schools for um, uh, for case studies. Um, they become our ambassadors. A great part of this program is there's no financial gain, as it were. You don't win a cash prize. Uh, you get a very nice plaque. You get invited to the ceremony. You get invited to all of our events. But we hope they become the advocates of the future. We hope that they, uh, those great educators will say, wow, this really has impact in the school. It's not just a nice thing to do or an after school club. This is actually at the heart of great education because we're comparing and contrasting, because we're bringing the world into our classrooms, because we're actually engaging uh, with our fellow educators globally, we're having real impact in our school. So we have 62 schools this year. Unfortunately, a lot less because of the obvious, you know, reasons yeah. uh, that, you know, many Funny schools yeah. unfortunately have had to defer. Um, but, what, you know, what's been amazing is those 62 schools, even in spite of lockdown and all the attendant issues this year, they've said we really can't allow this aspect of the work to go. It's very valuable. We know it increases attainment. We know the parents like it. We know the young people are excited by it. We know that it's a really powerful way of developing our school profile. Mm. Because quite explicitly you're saying uh, regionally and nationally, we are a place of international teaching and learning. We welcome the world coming to the school. We welcome languages. We welcome that comparative approach to all this work. Uh, and, and actually what's really interesting as well, we find as well young people uh, that are involved in international work, it really supports all of their activities. They are doing well in the exams. They are looking to pursue an international career. Uh, and that's why the follow through, as it were, we work with the DfE on um, language scholarships uh, that young people um, who are thinking of um, developing a language career as teachers are supported uh, we work with the the skill sector in the non-formal sector so all of this is brought together because uh, we really believe that schools and educators are the most important people in the world what they do every day is incredibly important and that's why the British Council we're not here to make life in any way more difficult but actually provide resources and support for them to be those explicitly globally minded educators uh, and make sure uh, that the impact on young people is at the heart of the work. You've, you've got my my brain racing, John, because all the things that you said, I can only see so many positive things in there. You mentioned about if there's a new people in your class, a way of making them feel included. I mean, that's so valuable. Um, and the whole family and the community, and if you've perhaps got a community where it's predominantly or you know, of a particular part of the world, from a particular part of the world, it's a great way of including them. And also, you know, we do live very much internationally and we sometimes get our teachers internationally. So for, for in terms of teacher recruitment as well, it's, it's a fantastic thing. Um, 
And what you said earlier about the sort of global issues about food and environment, it hadn't occurred to, and even teaching language, it hadn't occurred to me actually what other subjects or areas of the curriculum that you can draw upon um, through this process of, of linking with another school that actually you can use another school to help you teach your geography, your humanities, your languages, um, your PSHCE, you know, uh, it's just endless, um, which, is, which is amazing. Um, so my worry would be as a teacher, does it cost? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you know, it, <laughs> no, because um, all of our resources are free of charge. Everything, all our services, we'll come to your school, we'll talk to your SLT, uh, we'll send you these resources. Anything you require from us is free of charge. Amazing. I mean, it, it, it's a win-win. It's just, it's just incredible. And I'm only thinking now after 16 years of teaching, why didn't I know about this <laughs> um, yeah. a lot earlier? And, you know, that's incredible. There's so much to gain from it. It's, you know, and I know we've only just scratched the surface, really. I'm sure if we had all the evening to talk about it, you could tell me so many more case studies and so many examples. So remind me, what website do I go to if I want to get the resources? And the okay, it's uh, all the W's dot British Council. Uh, .org forward slash school resources and you said if I want to get involved as a school no. I just have to um, register, register my school details, and you get the newsletter from that and from that if you require support with school partner finding or uh, any uh, any of the resources so if you're planning a lesson perhaps on um, climate change there's lots of resources that you can get to do that in age appropriate ways because again I think what's important as well is because these are very authentic uh, they're produced by uh, fellow practitioners across the globe um, you know young people are very impressed uh, and very moved by those reeling engagement because we had um, in fact I visited a school recently and their link school uh, had electricity for two hours a day so the UK school will ask what would you do what do you think was important for mm. those two hours of the school day and that provoked some really interesting discussion is it more important to keep your electricity to heat the school lunches is it more important to keep the uh, PowerPoints going, the, the the pedagogical approach to all this. So again, these are very much based, and that's what you do when you when you go on the um, on the website Zuzu. You'll find all these uh, authentic case studies. So the first thing to do: www.britishcouncil.org school resources, and then go on the British Council Schools website. It's all interlinked there. And basically start looking if you want us to talk to your SLT, uh, if you want us to put you in touch with one of our school's ambassadors, um, who can actually, again, fellow practitioner, talk about the value they've found from this. We're working with uh, Coventry, who are the city of culture next year in 2021. Oh, yeah. And they've got an ambition to get all their schools involved in international work. Because we would argue that culture and education are incredibly intertwined yeah. and that young people who understand their place in the world, who, who better understand the, the, the interconnections, you know, they're attracted to then uh, those careers that enlarge that interest. And we work with many art groups um, to understand the, the nature of international arts and theatre and drama and dance. So although this is obviously having impact in the classroom this really has impact as well on the life chances of young people and we would argue it's for any school anywhere uh, so we're very committed to uh, supporting schools in uh, more more disadvantaged areas perhaps that wouldn't get the opportunity um, we have the international school exchanges program which will actually pay for pupil premium young people to visit their link school 
So again, all of this is underpinned by equity. All of this is underpinned by uh, a keen passion that international education is for everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it enjoyable and useful. In the comment box below, please put a question or a comment about the video. To grow our community more and help other teachers out there, please subscribe to the channel and share our posts and videos. Thank you.